Yeti and I were out on a walk once and somebody came racing up to us asking us, oh my goodness, that's such a cute husky. Uh, Yeti's a Samiad. Oh, you mean like a husky? No, like a Samiad. Well, what's a Samiad? Are they like huskies? Up next on Yeti's Place. To find the best tips and tricks on dog ownership, especially on owning Samiads, be sure to subscribe, click that bell, and comment down below. Sammies and Huskies are both northern breed dogs originating in Siberia, both bred for similar yet different purposes. Huskies are marathon runners of the north. Don't release them from their leash. Huskies are often used in the Iditarod, which is this massive sled dog race in Alaska. Huskies are the marathon runners of the north. <laughs> Yeti. <laughs> Sweetie. They'll keep running and they won't stop. They're champion sled dogs. And like a Samiad with their thick double coat, they were bred to withstand the extreme bitter cold of the Great White North. Huskies were brought to Nome, Alaska in 1908 to be used in sled dog racing, the Iditarod. The Iditarod is the coldest, longest, and harshest of all winter races. And the Husky can do it. Sammies, Samiads, like Yeti, are short distance runners. Sammies are known for, <laughs> what are you doing? Samiads are known for their strength, power, and their shorter distance running. They're not marathon runners, and they're not very fast either. Samiads are strong, powerful workhorses. They were bred for the brutal cold of Siberia to be reindeer herders, people herders too. Samis have the uncanny ability to tell their owners what they want in their own language. And for some reason, humans are able to understand it. Samiad herds their owner to do what they want them to do. When Yeti wants a treat, he herds me. I'll be in another room of the house and the treats are on the other side of the house in another room far off in the distance. Yeti will come to me regardless of what room that I'm in and he'll bark at me and he'll herd me, meaning he'll circle around me until I pay attention to him because there's nothing else to pay attention to other than this big white fuzzball circling you, herding me into the room where he gets his treats. That's how a Samiad communicates. They love herding their, their people and they love herding animals. Chewy, my first Samiad, used to do that every night at 9 p.m. He would herd myself and my husband to bring him outside. And then Chewy would herd me into the kitchen to give him more treats. Chewy also had this routine of a few times a week asking us to bring him to Dairy Queen. He would herd me first by circling around me nonstop, bring me into the room that my husband was in, herding me, circling around me, moving me slowly <laughs> into the room where he wanted me to go, which was in the same room my husband was in. Then Chewy would herd both my husband and I toward the door to bring him to the ice cream store that's located within walking distance. He did that multiple times a week. He'd also do that to ask us to bring him to a drive up so that Chewy could get ice cream. We knew exactly what Chewy was asking for when he would hurt us. It will take a little while for you to figure it out, but once you do, oh my goodness. So for their size, a Husky is a little touch smaller than a Samiad. Male Huskies weigh 45 to 60 pounds. They have a thick, beautiful double coat, beautiful thick tail that when they're sleeping, curls up around their nose to keep their nose nice and warm. A husky goes through epic shedding periods in giant clumps of fur. Their coat is a little bit shorter than uh, Sammy's, but it is just as thick. They love howling at the moon and they love howling at their people. In fact, they often have conversations with their people in different variations of tone. A husky is an escape artist, digging and chewing through whatever comes in its way to get to where it wants to go. They'll even jump over fences. They are great dogs with children. Their prey drive is strong, but they can be trained to be trusted around small animals. And a husky has a strong pack instinct. Comes in very handy for when they're sled dogs. They need a frequent companionship of people, other dogs, and other pets. Now a Samiad, like Yeti, has a long, thick, straight double coat. Yeti's mane, is like this long. The rest of his fur is like this long, and then it gets longer around his tail and his back legs. They have a straight, wiry, thick outer coat 
to help protect them from the wind and the harsh winter elements, and a cashmere soft inner coat. Their fur has silver tinges which just glisten in the sun, and they have that beautiful curly tail which, similar to the husky, curls up over their nose to keep their nose nice and warm and toasty when it gets really cold. A Samiette is an epic shedder. Be sure to check out our video linked in the description below for just exactly how epically they shed. They do like howling and sassing back. Chewy, my first Samiad, used to talk to me in like people type sentences with different tones of howling and barking and yipping all mixed in together in one sentence. For some crazy reason, I understood exactly what he said. Although a Samiad is not as expressive as their friends, the Huskies. A Sammy is also an escape artist of uncanny ability. Although when a Samiad escapes, he doesn't wander too far because his endurance just isn't what a Husky's endurance level is. They do come back eventually because they want treats and they want to hang out and sleep by their owners. A Samiad is a wonderful family dog. They do really well with other family pets once they understand that that's a pet and not just a small animal. What? What are you doing? My first Sammy Ed Chewy used to hunt small animals. You do want to work with making your Sammy understand that this is your pet by holding that pet really closely to you and loving that little pet and then showing your Sammy that this is a pet. This is not a skunk or a squirrel or a chipmunk. Now my first Sammy Chewy used to hunt all small animals. He hunted chipmunks, squirrels, bunnies, rabbits, deer, and he even hunted skunks. Oh, and he hunted woodchucks too. He was sprayed once by one skunk, and then he got so mad about being sprayed by that one skunk that he went and hunted a baby skunk, and he killed that baby skunk after being severely hosed by that baby skunk. And then he probably pranced around with that baby skunk hanging out of his mouth that the head of the baby skunk was on one side and the, the feet were on the other and he was playing with it like it was a chew toy. He kept throwing it up in the air and then racing after it and then trying to throw it at me and I was like, no, stop, please. You know, as my eyes were watering profusely because Chewy loved hunting those small animals and they do hunt birds too. But fortunately, birds have wings so birds can fly away. Huskies are such beautiful dogs. They have those stunning eyes that can be two colors, one color of gorgeous blue, one color of brown, mixes of both colors. The eye color does not affect their vision. It just makes them even more stunning and more beautiful than they already are. They do have a double layered coat, much like a Sammy Ed's, except their coat is a little bit shorter. It's not quite as long as, as Yeti's coat is. No, you stay, no, 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 stay. A Husky does have a really thick, dense undercoat. Like Yeti's, it is really soft and it helps insulate them from the harsh winter elements outside. And in the summertime, it does protect them from the harsh sun. So you should never ever shave a Husky nor a Samiette. A Husky also has longer outer coat and it protects them from the harsh elements, whether or not those are cold harsh elements or if it's the hot brutal sun, it protects them and their skin from getting burnt. Huskies come in a variety of patterns and colors. They come in gray and white, black and white, reddish and white, and they have stunning face markings. The Sammy's beauty is in their smile, like this. Their mouths curl upward to protect them from drooling so that their drool does not freeze in the harsh northern climate. That's why they have that smile. It's known as the Sammy smile. The Sammy Ed does have different pronunciations for their breed name, just depending on where you live and where your influences are. Yeti and I have heard their name pronounced so many different ways and always are correct. Sammies are happy whenever you want to play, cuddle, give them treats. <laughs> Yeti's really happy. A Sammy has two different body types. Yeti's is more boxy shaped with a little bit shorter legs and more of a square body. He is a true powerhouse and Yeti has this beautiful thick mane. My first Sammy had Chewy had the other body type which had longer legs, much longer legs, and a more slender, sleek body. Chewy's mane was not as full as Yeti's. Quimby and Bigby, Yeti's buddies, who've been featured on this channel before. They have the same body shape that Chewy had. Taller, longer, and more slender throughout their bodies. Their legs are really long. Their eyes are always black and they have these gorgeous pointy ears just like a husky does. Their tails curl up over their back. Most of the time Yeti has his tail 
down because he's relaxed. Sams often carry their tail down when they are relaxed and calm, but then when they're happy and excited, which is most of the time, they curl them up. Huskies had been used in 1925 to carry diphtheria serum. They went from Nainana to Nome, Alaska, which is 600 miles to carry the diphtheria serum. It's a really long way. And a husky was the perfect dog for that job. The pack was led by its lead dog, Togo. The musher was Leonard Cipolla. It was featured in the 2019 film by Disney, Togo. Gunnar Kaysen had a lead sled dog named Balto. And you may have heard of Balto too. Balto has a bronze statue in New York City's Central Park. Not to be outdone by the Husky, the Samoyed has been owned by royalty, and they also went on famous expeditions. Queen Alexandra promoted Sammies as show dogs and great companions. Scott, Shackleton, and Amundsen brought Samoyeds along on their Antarctic expeditions for their sled dogs and the haulers of all of their equipment. If you enjoyed this breed comparison video, check out this one. We'll bark at you next time.